Hello everybody and welcome back to Song of Horror. My name is Jonathan, aka Fox and Ariel, and we have gone through the prelude, the first part of the game, and we shall now go and see what we can do about the first episode. Um, I did record several episodes before this, but I alas had to remove them because of a glitch that happened. <coughs> So I had to. So we are gonna restart the first episode. So I haven't. I hadn't come far anyway. So it's fine. Um, I will have my camera on, uh, so you can see my face, and I will have this my cell phone flashlight, <gasps> so you can see my face. So if the ghost and entity appears, as said, um, and it's randomized, so I don't know when it will appear. But when it appears, I you will see my reaction, and hopefully you can get. A laugh out of it. I've raised the volume on my headphones quite substantially, so hopefully everything will be splendid. Let's just look at the settings. I think the volume, voice volume is good, music volume is fine, general volume. Let's lower that to 75. Okay, so we're gonna choose episodes, and you can see we have only gone through there, and we are needing to do this one. So we're gonna restart this one, and you will have to restart the game for the beginning of episode 1, yes, but we hadn't done anything anyway, so it's fine. Let's see what we can do at the Husher Mansion. And I'm gonna play the game hardly taken a step forward with an Xbox controller. When I heard the door close behind me, when I turned around, the door wasn't there anymore. And all that was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. I despaired. And I screamed until my throat began to burn. The candles started to run out, as did the batteries in my torch. From within the most suffocating darkness, the hours went by until turning into days. And I began to fall in and out of a restless sleep. I would hear voices, sometimes right next to me, other times a few yards away. It seemed like they were coming from the other side of the wall. Desperate cries, Hello. howling in horror. And sometimes, the worst of all, a vast, oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere all, all at once. There was nobody there, just hallucinations. Nightmares, black nothingness, and the song from that music box. Trapped in this impossible place, I wondered if I was going to die there. <laughs> so, three days later, yes. It's Yen. Do you have any news on Daniel yet? Oh, Sophie. No. We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I don't think so. And if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on him. Oh, man. I think I should pass by the Husher place when I leave, just to see if they know anything. Husher the writer? Your client? Yeah. I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. Hmm. What's the address? I'm going to stop by Daniel's place, and if I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. The house on the outskirts of town, on Highway EB-15. Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. It's a big house. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm headed over. Call me if you find him. Uh, of course. Same to you. Ooh, spoopy. So, uh, I have played this game once before. Um... And uh, only once, so I don't remember everything. Uh, but we, sh we shall see how much we can remember, if if nothing else. So this is going to be very interesting. Mm -hmm. Sophie von Dennett, uh, life has put Sophie to the test many times, mm -hmm. but she always pushed through. It was thanks to the, this resilience that she summoned up the strength to put an end to a failing marriage with Daniel. Sophie, who runs a well-known art gallery, is now enjoying the ever elusive prosperity she has always longed for yes 
right. Um, and this is Etienne Bersnard. Right. Etienne, a competent self made man, is sales manager at Wake Publishing. Okay, making him the Daniel's direct supervisor in his role as personal assistant. Daniel has become somewhat of an errand boy, but Etienne slowly is giving him greater responsibilities. Although they love to complain about working together, they were grown fond of each other, developing a friendship outside of work mm, that neither of them like to admit, right? And. Alina Ramos. Alina is a passionate hand down type of learner. Always eager to get her hands dirty at work, happy and energetic. She travels the world with a sister in search of a better life for them both. Now working as an electrician technician at Moon Security. Okay, okay. Speed, strength, serenity, right? I think we're gonna start with Sophie actually. Because there are puzzles in this game, uh, which sometimes some people say they are not really logical, and, and you really need to like think at some of them. So some I have written down two of them, at, uh, because they are very long combinations, which is at least I can't see anybody remembering them unless you have played this game like fifteen billion times. <laughs> this is I find this game really, really, really well. I love this game. It's it's really nice. Uh, but if you it's like how many le how many letters like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen yeah fifteen letter combination I'm my memory is not that good <coughs> 1998 September yes it's the year 1998 Ooh. Right, so I'm playing with a Xbox controller. I'm gonna do this, and this is the first episode, so let's see what we can do. Can we check this out? Can you check that? No, apparently not. It's like you really need to stand. There we go, that's better. The tricycle, it's wet and begin to rust. Okay, good. It has been some quite some time since I played this now, uh, since I, I recorded the uh, prelude of it all, so I might be a bit rusty. Right. And sometimes when you go up the stairs, you sometimes go down because wonky controls. The newspaper that's been through a storm, I can hardly read a word. We shall see about the level of sounds, uh, but hopefully it will be good. Okay, let's press A. The Husher Mansion. Hush. Ooh. The door was open. Is there anybody home? I like that the mouse is just going like this. Okay, so the entity in this game, as mentioned, can books in the foyer. You won't mind find me complaining, yes. You will never know when it's gonna strike. Strike. So it's it's randomized, which is which I love. Uh, the clock is turn of the century, and just lovely. Though the time isn't set properly. No. So let's explore a bit, and this is what. A burger alarm, how modern, a moat with the <laughs> a crocodile would be more fitting in this house. <laughs> so we are going to find out what happened to the family. Coats hung up, somebody must be home then. Old photos of family trips and such, yes. And here we have something. Uh -huh. Dusty note. My dear eccentric husband, I left your key in the top drawer of your bureau in the library. The children have been very nervous lately. We need to talk about this as soon as you get back. And I don't want them playing with it. I suppose she's referring to the music box. The death marches by Char uh, Carla Solmo I was inspired by the prisoner transfers which took place in the World War II. I wouldn't put it in my home, okay. Pile of suitcases seems a bit much, even for a long journey. Mm, I don't think they're moving either. Okay, so what do we need to do? Let's see, we don't have an access to a map yet. Let's go in here. Uh, 
Good music with a good vine in other circumstances. Right. There's a piano. An upright piano. I played just one like it as a girl. Yes. Nice. Let's see now. There we go. Seeing so many bottles in one place reminds me of Daniel and unpleasant times. Right, let's see here. That's another record. A record player. Can. There we go. Oh, wilted plant. Sometimes happens to mine when I have a lot going on at the art gallery, right? Uh, history magazines. I actually sus I subscribe to some of these, yes. So, if you haven't been here before, my name is Jonathan aka Fox and Daryl and I am a writer stream based on Twitch and I hope everybody's doing well and thank you so much for for clicking my videos and hopefully you will like this game as much as I do. Let's go this way. This is the dining room or something. Right, a table has been set for four, but they never appear to be having eaten their meals, uh, no. Dishes, books in the same cupboard. Open way of arranging things, yes, indeed. And this is like porcelain fruit, candlesticks, English tea set, all very old and dusty. Right. I could fit under the table quite easily if I'm in need of hiding. Right. That's good to know. <sighs> this door is locked shut, okay. So we need to find a key. Oh, right. So we do have an inventory uh, and a document thing here. So the uh, maybe I could just. I just realized I could move my camera up a little bit, uh, just so I don't cover things enough uh, or more than I need to. There we go. And then we have the inventory on this side. So it's the bottom over the right and left trigger. Now then, let's see, let's go this way. I can't see anything, it's covered in filth. Old family photo, huh. old family photos in black and white, all right. Let's go this way. Right. This is a delicate, quite elegant dinner service, covered with dust. It seems that nobody has been here for quite some time. Ooh, matches. Nice. Uh, matchbox. Just an ordinary matchbox. Uh, inspect. Uh -huh. We have plenty of matches left. Good. So we are going to go in here. This there's something on the counter. Ooh, there's something on the counter. No. Uh, fresh fruit, uh, though the apples are beginning to rot, right? They appear to be old cookbooks as far as I can tell. They are written in Russian, okay, right? Metal ring of some kind, right? Huh. Uh, ring made by iron, made nothing unusual, yes. Okay, this was the cookbooks. And let's see now. What's this? Water came out from under the sink and there's a wire right there. Okay, yes. We need to fix that, apparently. There's still some coffee left in the pot. I wonder how long that has been there. Is that a television? Oh, it is. I thought it was a microwave. I was like, hmm. But then again, it's 98. I don't think microwaves were very, very, very common back then i don't know i was very 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 young then so i i can't re really recall preserved dog fruits and no fresh food right we have ooh, mm -hmm. an oil can yes thank you we need this anything else for me here preserved cereal and wide range of non-perishable foods nothing else that i need no okay 
and we need to go here. There we go. Now, the entity. So that was basically the first sign of the entity that we got. So, what was that noise? You better take a look before going back out. To press uh, your ear against the drone, walk up to it, and when you see the listening icon, press and hold Y. While you're listening, pay attention to the sound that comes from the other side. Right. What was that? Nothing you should care about, darling. Just a ghost, or an entity, or something. Let's listen. And we are f good to go. Using your map, um, it seems like the coast is clear. From now on, you can listen to what is happening on the other side of unexamined doors. Sometimes you might have a chance uh, to do it with doors, uh, with other doors as well. Pay attention to the icon when you're near one. Use your map to find your way around. It records every single place you explored so far. To open it, press the left analog stick. The map will be uh, constantly updated with relevant information. Don't forget to check it out once in a while. Yes. I don't hear anything in there. Nope. Which means that the entity is not adding us. <sighs> yes. The drawing made by Saul. The drawing made by the youngest child, right? Saul 7. Okay. And that's that. So if we look at the map now, we can see that we have a cog right over there. Which means that is a puzzle thing going on and we have a key to the door in the uh, on the opposite side of the dining room which we will have to figure out as well so let's get on with it mm. all right let's go out here so this game is not a fast paced game at all. So if you think this is going to go fast, uh, then you're up for something completely different. <laughs> it's an I'm there, so that's the dining room. Good. Now then, let's go this way. Mm, where do I want to go? Let's let's check this this area again. <laughs> Listen. It's fine. It's good. If you hear anything that sounds like something is banging or or well anything that is like s what is it? screeching sound is, is wrong but there's something is moving on that side don't go in that door just don't do it historical novels like those authored by Hasha and uh, it, it's cheap entertainment but devilish devilishly addictive yes and lovely camera wait it's only a replica oh a wall group from the 18th century Hasha must deal with some very choice collectors yes Right, I must admit I could spend wheels on end in this library. Definitely. Diplomas. Macabre Tales, noir novels, and oh, Psycho by Ro Robert Bloch. Enchanting. Yes. Let's see now. Uh, dictionaries, dictionaries, atlases, and manuals of a variety of languages. Okay, yes. Let's go this way. I can hardly resist the temptation to take one of them. <laughs> right. Ooh, Japanese swords. Both look authentic. Could even imagine them as museum pieces. Yes. Let's see now. There we go. I see a key in the drawer, but it's jammed. I've got to lubricate it somehow. Right. So we go into um, this one and we put. Use this. The oil. Yeah. It worked like a charm. And we have a key. Master key. Inspect. Huh. 
This key will open more than one door. Yes. Good. Do we have anything else that we need here? I don't think so. So let's move on to the next area. What is this? An Olivetti from the 1940s. Hashi is old fashioned even when it comes to his work. Though I admit it's quite lovely. Yes. Yes. We do like lovely work. Right, let's go out. And always remember, always don't just open a door because you can. Always make sure. Oh, Jesus, bloody Christ. The phone. Should I answer? Oh. Hello? <laughs> Sorry, who is this? I can't understand you. We can't leave my room. What the? Okay. Spoopy. Oh. Something's going on up there. Hmm. Novels written by Hasha. I don't think it's a fan, but I admit his books are addictive. Is that a skull in the bookshelf? Huh. Uh, okay, right. I never understand why people have to murder defenseless animals for sport. Neither do I. Uh -huh. There's soot all over. Perhaps I could get it to light somehow. Yes, we need we need things for that, and we are back in here. Excellent. Now then, where do I need to go? You know, we have been there. We have library, living room. Yes, yes, yes. Kitchen. We haven't been in the rooms over here. So let's go. Out. Ooh, I, there we go. So let's go this way. One thing I would recommend if you ever play this game is don't run. No matter how tempting it is. <laughs> uh, or is it this one? Let's listen to the store first. And there's nothing. If it only sounds like there is... Um, this is a bathroom, right? Hello. Huh. There are greasy fingerprints all over the glass. Okay. Um, so, always remember to listen to the doors. So if you hear just like... Like there's only wind behind the door, that's fine. But if you hear like a dragging sound, don't open it. Just don't open it. Here we go. Now then, let's see here. Pick packed suitcases. They're everywhere. But were they arriving or departing? Yes. And this is what Tears in the Wind by Liam. Edelman, it's lovely, melancholy, and a macabre touch. God, I've started to think the same my way I talk to my clients about work of art. What a strange. Let's listen. And sometimes the entity can bang on the doors. Mm. I think it's locked from the inside. Right, okay, this is locked. Let's go... Uh, oh? What was that? Can I use this? Use... Okay, no? Uh, okay, let's listen. Okay, there's nothing there. Let's go. Right, so this is the this is the garage, okay. An old bicycle, a tad broken down, but still pretty, right? Oh! oh. What the hell? Yeah, the entity just killed an animal, I think. Oh, Christ! 
I love motorcycles, but I've never mustered the courage to ride one, especially with Daniel telling me how dangerous they are. Right, okay. What is... Oh, here we have... What is this? It's a fuse box. <coughs> Bloody hell, it's good. An old metal box says that there's a fuse inside, but it shut with a screw. Okay. Read. Boiler functioning upper panel shut down. Press left button. Start the central button. Emptying. Press the right button. Right. Okay. Good. Mm -mm. Uh, here's the boiler. It's receiving no electricity, like the rest of the house. Okay, so we need to fix the house first and foremost. This is what an disorderly pile of tools, but no flathead screwdriver. Right. When I played this the last time, that with the garage door never happened, so uh, that was very interesting. We need a screwdriver. Where can I find a screwdriver? Mm -mm. Let's check the map. Let's go into the dining room again. We need to go upstairs as well eventually. Uh, so let's just go here. Can we open this room? Use. Yes. If the key fits in the lock, thank you. And let's open the door. Right. A record player with a piece of Vivaldi ready to play. I'm more of a Japan lover myself. Uh, but this isn't the worst choice. Definitely not. Uh, let's see now, what do we have here? Ooh, screwdriver. Thank you. Yes. Good. Now we can do this. We can combine this with this. Mm -hmm. And we have fuses. Nice. But, let's see now, what does it say otherwise? The table is an utter mess. Cigarettes, books, glasses. Th they've strewn it all around the house. Ooh, here we have a letter. I saw another door yesterday. As I was walking by the dining room, I suddenly heard the music from Daddy's music box. When I went in, I saw the door. I went running to tell Mummy, but when we came back, it was gone. She scolded me for making things up. It's not fair. I was telling the truth. There was an old door there, different from the rest. It even had a key in the keyhole. If I see it again, I'll go inside and leave the door open. That way, Mama will believe me. I saw the weird door that Julia said wasn't there before. Okay. Mama was very angry and kept yelling at Julia. The door is scary. I will hide the key in the dollhouse, alright? I will hide the five dolls too, even if they get mad at me. I will bring them out when Mummy and Julia forget about the door. One will be hungry, so her friend will make dinner for her. Another will read while her mom takes a shower. The ugly one will watch the door so nobody comes in. Okay, so that's a clue for one of the puzzles that we are going to do in Oh Christ. The smell of tobacco scars weapons in the walls. I suppose this is why this room feels so dreary to me. Yes. Scars on the wall. I understand that Hasha is an old fashioned, but this is sheer barbarism. Barbarism. Right. That's an old newspaper. Yes. There is no other doors in this room. Nope. Right. That looks a bit creepy. Um, this game is... Oh, God. I was played it in the... Oh, shit. Daniel. Is that you? Nope. Oh. 
Yes. So that's the entity we're talking about. So it's pushing and blocking. If something is trying to get in, make sure that the door does not open. To get your sense, press A repeatedly. Once you feel strong enough to push and block the door, press RT. While waiting for maximum strength is effective but risky, you decide when to push the door. But be extra careful, no matter what happens, make sure you keep it shut. Yes. Oh, my neck is cracked. Luckily, you made it this time. You're safe for now, but don't let your guard down. Whatever that was, it could still be lurking in the shadows. Certain, uh, certain events will give you a chance to put your ear to the door in rooms you have already visited. Just remember to be extra careful. It might save your life. Yes. Oh, God! What the hell just happened? What was pushing that door? Uh, it was something that it was not to be trifled with. Let's just actually let's do that and do yeah I th yeah let's do that. Right, let's listen. That sound. If you hear that sound, don't enter at all. And now it's gone. As soon as that sound has disappeared, you are f fine to go. Now, then, we have been there, we have been there, we haven't been there. So I need to go, but I'm gonna go this way now, if I can get past that, <laughs> that thing, and let's leave this room, and let's get upstairs. Yes, we do have the screwdriver though, but we need, we can't get uh, the uh, ha light lit yet because there are water on the floor in the kitchen, so we need to take care of that. And there should be a painting here. They removed a painting from the mock from the wall. I don't think it, they took it down long ago. Oh my god, that house is. Right, let's see now. What is this? Mm. A black and white photo, an image of Catherine Hush's wife, and the children, Julian Saul. Don't look at this photo. Okay, why not? Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, I totally forgotten about this. Oh, hello. Right. Let's see what this is. This is a portrait from 1634. I'm not familiar with the artist of the or the subject, right? And this is... It's a car! <laughs> right, okay. So this is the upper floors. Let's see, now is this... Right. It's fine, let's go in. I need a key to open this door. Okay. Right. Can I use this key? Yes. The key fits in the lock. Yes. Let's open. <laughs> Let's listen again. Yeah, that's fine. Let's open. Ah, it's... it's yes. Yeah. That room looks really dark. Yes. A minimum caravel just lovely and full of tea. Ooh. Okay. This is an open book on the table, but it's in Russian or some similar language. Right. So if we would have another guy in here, he would probably understand that more. Because uh, one of the characters that which we can choose, Alexander, I think his name is. He and his wife is like working in this house as well. 
uh, the bonfire by Hasha looks like a real page turner. Yes, doesn't it? Okay, let's go in. Let's listen. Okay, this is fine. Let's go. Right. Here we have a cloth. Mm -hmm. Dishcloth. A dirty dishcloth. Wee! This is a, a really nice touch to the game. How things move around. Because... That's why... Let's see now. The mirror is rather dusty. Yes. So now we have a cloth. There we go. And... We have darkness over there. Where did this come from? So that's kind of... Yes. So that's is how what the entity looks like in like physical form, you could say, or part of it. When it's like attached to walls and stuff. Figurines and masks from faraway places. If I had the time, I'd travel like I'd used to. Let's see if I can convince Emilio Bernard. Let's go this way first, yes. Right. What's over here? This is a table. Happy anniversary! Right. I'd I do have a slight feeling that that anniversary didn't happen, considering... Why is that candle still burning, though? Mm -mm. No matter how much I feel, uh, how I feel around the floodlight, it will be useless I ca till I can turn it on. Okay, right. And what is this? I'm not sure, but I say this battery belongs to that floodlight. Okay, good. So it's some kind of cable. Right. Ooh, what is this? Can I? Grill tongs. Thank you. I don't mind if I do. Let's go back inside. It's a beautiful starry night sky, yes. Alas, there's an entity inside the house that wants to kill me, so even if it's a beautiful night, that's gon not gonna cut it. Oh. I think it's very interesting, though, that when I play this game, uh, I the computer that I use, my keyboard, is um, has um, LED lights built into it so oh this is the garage control don't mind if I do uh -huh. uh, so every time you hear the heartbeat every time that starts my keyboard flashes uh, red which is like <laughs> just in that in that uh, rhythm which is like ki kind of interesting I was like oh okay hello oh, what is it sometimes I don't know why but sometimes, there we go. An impressionist landscape from 1905. Evocative. One of the loveliest I've seen in the house. Yes. Perfect. Uh, encyclopedias dictionary. I think this is like some kind of... Uh, reference books from all sorts of medicine, physics and physiology. Okay. Alright, right. Let's go over here. This is masked. African, some Indian though. Not my field of expertise. Something's jamming the lock. I believe it is key. Right. So we need to find something for that. Now that we have the cloth though, we can go down into the Zella. Do I want to go in here? Or. Yeah, I think it's fine. Right, let's see now. Okay. Hmm. Paint brushes, acrylic paints, poorly sealed bottles. Whatever inside has stained the shelves, yes? Uh, from 1883 and 1790, having such fine pieces drawn about the floor is quite rich, I suppose, yes is indeed. So they have an attic. They do. Now we know where the attic the attic door is. 
good and I'll be just checking this door over here Ooh. right this is safe <sighs> nope. right can I use uh, I'll achieve nothing this way. Okay. So that door is not openable yet. Uh, very interesting indeed. I couldn't do that. I'll achieve nothing that way. Okay. Right. Oh yeah, I think I know which room that is. I think I remember which room that is. Let's go downstairs back to the kitchen and dry up that water from the floor. Okay, so do remember the the entity may strike whenever, so it's totally randomized, and so one gameplay will never be the same as the first one, which is kind of uh, so you can you can never say oh I've oh I've played this game except for the that door when it first appeared that thing always happens, but otherwise it's really. Let's see, now let's use the cloth. Mm -mm. I'll achieve nothing this way. There we go. Use. Yes. Bye bye, puddle. Good. Now we can light this house up. What is this? Souvenirs and list of errands date that has expired, blah blah blah. Okay, right. Oh. Yes. Now we need to go down to the basement. Wherever that might be. Now let's see now. Let's go there. Let's have a look at the map, shall we? Right. Uh lab de bum front porch. So the basement must be in next to the VC then. There we go. Something is running somewhere in the house. This door. Ah, here we go. Yeah, it was. I was in here before where the where the thing was. Right. Let's listen. Right. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, this door is locked. Use key. Key fits in the lock. Right, let's enter. Right. So, as mentioned earlier, uh, I won't suggesting running at all in this game. Uh, if it can be avoided, because it will attract noises. There's a note stuck on the safe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dear Julia, if you found this note, congratulations. You're one step closer to solving the puzzle I prepared for you. I hope it keeps you entertained while I'm away. I've hidden your favorite doll in the safe, and changed the combination since you're aspiring to becoming a detective when you grow up. I think this is a great chance to put your deduction skills to the test. The combination is as follows. The number of a street, Saul's age, and the decade and year of the canvas uh, hanging upstairs right next to the staircase. That, uh, okay, okay. Was painted. Good luck, my dear inspector. Hugs and kisses from daddy. Right. There's nothing there. Okay, so that painting is apparently removed, so we can't do that. But I know two of the letters, which is four and seven, because four is the name of this, uh, the number of the street, and the other things. Then Saul's 
H is 7, since we saw that on the uh, painting from the, the kitchen, his drawing. So let's go over here. What is this? Nothing? What is that? There's some good wines and some very, very good wines. Some very good and expensive ones, yes. Let's go over here. So this episode is getting a bit long, but we will see if we can get the electricity on before we end. Let's see now, let's go this way, and here is a... Uh, they don't appear to use this water anymore. It's empty, right. So if I look here, you can see that it is like an eye with a with a dash over it, which means that it's a hiding place. Um, ah, here we go. Um, something's gonna miss. The fuses are mishappen. Rest. So this is the first puzzle. So this puzzle is apparently... Uh, we need to look at the cables. But some people say that this is quite not the clearest puzzle. So... Uh, let's see now. 25. And this one goes. There. This one goes. There, I think. And this one goes there. I put it in wrong, I guess. Okay. Mm. Let's put this one down here. And let's do that. I know that one is right. Let's do that. And then this. Haha! -ha! There we go. And light. Nice. So. Finally. Daniel, if you're here, I'm going to find you. Yes. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Hello. Right, so I think this is, will be a good place to end the first episode of the first chapter of Song of Horror. So thank you so much for joining me. Please like, share and subscribe and hit that bell so you will not get notified when I post my videos. And thank you so much for joining me and I wish you all a great day or evening. Bye!